Welcome to the channel, human. Click the subscribe button to join the T-Virus community. I love the MCU. This is why I'm making this type of video. You will find that a lot of Marvel fans are not honest when it comes to this kind of material. When it comes to Marvel material, there is too much of them being biased. There's too much dick riding. They are unwilling to admit to the flaws and the mistakes that exist within the MCU. This current phase of Marvel, phase four, or whatever a human wishes to call it, has been trash overall. There are some exceptions. Shang-Chi, Spider-Man No Way Home, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The rest of the stuff is not worth mentioning because it's either mediocre, a waste of potential, they messing up characters and storylines, they prioritize trash characters that nobody cares about, which comes with agenda, man-hating material. It is unfortunate. There's a lot of good Marvel characters out there and storylines, but they've recently just been doing a bunch of trash and some humans are like oh they're building up to great stuff in phase five and phase uh phase six okay that doesn't mean that you have to present trash in the meantime you can build up the right way these are just humans that like to explain away bullshit this is what they do your build up does not have to be whack look at the marvel disney plus shows Look at how many there are and how they've done nothing but waste our fucking time. Look at the movies they've been putting out. You have shit like The Eternals. You have... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with these fucking movies? Eternals. You have stuff like multiverse of madness which was entertaining but did it really deliver on the multiversal aspects no it didn't all it did was ruin the illuminati present a whack watered down captain carter disrespected charles xavier in black bolt thor love and thunder or as i call it thor love and trash Time and time again, this current phase has let down a lot of Marvel fans. However, only a few of them will actually admit it. Because the dick writing is strong when it comes to Marvel. They will fight for it till the end. In a way, I respect that. But at the same time, it's predictable and it's laughable. And it shows you that when a brand is strong... It doesn't matter what they put out. They can take advantage of their fans knowing that they're going to stay no matter what they do. And most of the individuals that like the MCU are not even real Marvel fans. They're not fans of the comic books. They don't know or care about the characters. This is why they're okay with them fucking up the characters. Anyone that's okay with them messing up characters and storylines, race swapping, gender swapping, changing the way the characters work with their powers. I'm looking at you, Miss Marvel. Your shit was whack in the comic books, still whack in the MCU. They made her a mutant instead of making her an inhuman. And they run with some bullshit about, oh, the intention was always to make her a mutant. I don't give a fuck about your intentions. I care about the lore of Marvel comic books. These are adaptions. But I, if you ask me. They've done a shitty job with a lot of it. Just because they give you consistent content. Doesn't mean that they should get a fucking pat on the back. They need to be backhanded for the shit that they've been doing. To these characters and storylines. They can do better than this. I've seen better. 
in the context of the MCU. In the other phases of Marvel, they were not perfect. Don't get me wrong. You had some fail shit back then too. Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Should I continue? Captain Marvel. There's plenty of them. But a lot of this stuff gets passes because of the popularity of the brand. But you will find no Marvel dick writing on this channel, only honesty. And it is because... I love Marvel so much. This is why I can talk in this way. It is not hatred. It is passion. It is not complaining. It is passion. Humans usually say the same things when you come after something that they like. They refuse to be objective. They stay within their emotions. This is why you should not trust what most humans say in relation to the MCU or anything else in life because they are unable or unwilling to be objective. These humans can't do it. But I will. I will call out Marvel every time they do stupid shit or if they don't have balls or there's no follow through. This Marvel stuff that we've been getting has been very sloppy. They've gotten lazy. They put out a lot of content to make it seem like they got everything under control. Do they? Because they're getting pretty sloppy to me. This multiverse idea is not working out in the way that they've hoped. Incursions, multiversal events, all this shit has been sloppy. Really, they're using it to cover up and make up for the mistakes that they have made throughout the MCU. And that's not what the multiverse is for. Somebody has to tell those idiots that over there at Disney. I appreciate Kevin Feige for coming up with the MCU. But somewhere along the way, he allowed Disney to whisper in his ear. And then he gives us... A trash Hulk and a trash Thor. Messed up these characters. We got a bunch of terrible villains in the MCU. There are a handful of them that are, that are great. Hela, Thanos, Eric Killmonger, Loki. Specifically Loki in the earlier phases because current Loki is a bitch. All he does is get beat up all the time and gets upstaged by other versions of himself and he's supposed to be a god right but he gets beat up by humans he's a chump now but he's still one of the best villains that they have but most of the time in the mcu whether it be a movie or one of their shows on disney plus not the other stuff because jeff Loeb was doing that the MCU proper shows that are on Disney Plus. Whether it be that or the movies. The heroes 99% of the time are better than the villains. The MCU has a major villain problem. They show up. They make jokes. They get killed. It is a waste of potential. Most of the time never coming close to how good they are in the comics. Again with the exception of a few. When humans talk about the MCU, most of the time you're going to hear them talking about the heroes, not the villains. The villains, most of them, are not worth talking about. They're not worth remembering. And a lot of these normies that support the MCU, when you ask them questions about the villains, they don't even remember them. Oh, was it this one? Oh, no. Oh, my bad. That was Whiplash and Iron Man 2. I was thinking of... Oh, okay, I got it mixed up with Malekith from Thor The Dark World. I'm like, they don't remember shit. That just goes to show you that just because you put out a lot of stuff doesn't mean that it's all of the same quality, doesn't mean that it's all great. 
The brand is popular. The brand is popular. The brand is respected. And that's what you have. Maybe they will put out something that's great in the end. But as of now, I am not excited about the MCU material. I'm not excited. A trailer can change my mind. But as of this moment, I'm watching by default. Because I love Marvel. But they're starting to piss me off. Because they keep doing bullshit that we've been seeing in this current phase. And even with the Black Widow movie. That movie should have been all about Natasha. Instead, it's all about elevating the Yelena character. They should have given Black Widow a movie before Captain Mediocre Marvel. A fucking trash character in the comics anyway. That failed time and time again. But instead... They propped up Captain Marvel because they were trying to replicate DC's success with Wonder Woman. It's undeniable. I know that fans of Marvel, some of them, some of the fans of Marvel like to hate on DC. But when DC does something, best believe that Marvel is going to copy that shit. Aquaman did Endgame before Endgame. Did you know that? He did it underwater. No one talks about that. Because they'd rather dick ride Marvel. But DC did it first. Just like DC did Smallville first before the MCU. But nobody talks about that. Oh, Marvel did it on the big screen. Yeah, true. But DC did it first in general when it comes to comic book material. An actual shared universe. Ten years of television, ladies and gentlemen. The humans don't care. They just care about getting fed. They're so desperate for material that they're willing to accept trash. They're willing to accept poison. Terrence will continue to call out these clowns. Because they are messing up Marvel material. You better be careful, Marvel. You keep doing this shit. One day, your fans may wake up to this. One day, they will realize that their stomachs are rumbling because you have been feeding them bullshit. Terrence out.